What is going on? This is Jeff with JPA Photography, and I wanted to talk about lens hoods in this video because I heard some of my friends talking the other day about lens hoods on their camera lenses, and they said that they really didn't know what the purpose of them was, and they really didn't think that they had a purpose. So uh, I want to talk about that because that is totally a misconception. So, as you can see, uh, lens hoods really come in all different shapes and sizes uh, depending on the lens. You don't get to specify or have a pick of what kind of lens hood you want for what different uh, need you have, say sports photography or you're in a lot of light or low light, portraits, whatever it is. Each lens made by the manufacturer has a specific lens hood that, that either comes with it or is specifically made for it and you just have to purchase separately. For example, this Sigma 10 to 20 millimeter here comes with a Sigma flower petal lens hood and you can't buy any extras for it because uh, that's the one that works best with that kind of lens. So, um, the big problem that I have with lens hood and people talking about them is that a lot of people say and you hear it all the time, is that, oh, the lens hood is just there for protection. If you bump it up against something, your glass doesn't get damaged or something like that. And while that is true, and that's a great part of lens hoods, it's not the only thing. And that's um, what a lot of people only talk about is just the protection part of it. And lens hoods are specifically de designed like this and in all different kinds of crazy shapes and lengths and sizes for a reason. They're not just there for protection. They wouldn't put that much uh, that much time into des designing something like that. So uh, lens hoods are really there for blocking stray light coming in to the lens. Um, so say you're outside on a really sunny day and you've got a lot of light coming in from all different areas and you put your hands over top of your eyes and all of a sudden things become a lot clearer. You don't have all that light and you can see clear and your image is sharper. The same thing is exactly why lenses come with lens hoods because it does the exact same thing. It's gonna block out the stray light and make your image clear. And you might be saying, wait a minute, that's what I have a polarizer for, you know, to block out the stray light, make things clear, sharpen things up, get rid of that stray light. And polarizers do that, but they don't block the sides um, like a lens hood does. And with a lens hood and a polarizer, you're not going to, you're almost guaranteed, unless you're shooting straight at the sun, of course, no stray light. And you're going to come out with a really sharp, good looking, correctly um, exposed image, of course, if your settings are right. So, um, and then the other thing I hear a lot is, oh, can you put a polarizer on with, or, or even a UV filter with a lens hood? And the answer is definitely yes. Um, I have a Hoya um, polarizer on here, you can see. That screws onto the front of the glass, okay? So that goes directly onto the glass. Your lens hood goes kind of on the, just on the exterior of the glass, more on the plastic part. So that's gonna screw right on the outside and no problem there. And people say, oh, well, what about the light? They work perfectly fine together and I've never had a problem. And then the one issue with them though is that with circular polarizers, you have to always twist the uh, front part of the lens to get the best looking um, effect of the polarizer. And that can be a little bit difficult there when you're trying to twist with a lens hood on because you kind of have to reach in there. But um, I don't find it to be that bad. I know with this particular uh, polarizer that I have, where are what um, the different uh, markings that kind of in my head said this marking is you know th this much effect and I kind of just adjust it from there just based off of the individual knowledge with that product so it can be a little bit of a pain but um, that's besides the point so all in all lens hoods are not just there just to look cool or oh I look professional they do serve a definite purpose and besides just protection, they are there to enhance your image, and that's one of the big things. So that's all uh, for today with uh, JPA Photography. That is my, those are my tips and a little bit of instruction on lens hoods. Thanks, and if you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more great reviews and uh, insights on products and advice. Thanks.